Hello and welcome to another video of Quick How To's with Dr. S. Today we are going to send messages to our students. During the last two videos, we explored how we can find information on our future classes. We uh, used the information about our student roster to create a group of students, and that's what I'm going to call upon now. I would like to see this group, and I can do that by clicking on View, Student Groups, and my student group should be listed here shortly. The computer is searching. There it is. This is my group of students. If I were to double click on this, I would see each student individually, but that's not what I want right now. I want to send all those students a message right now. So I'm going to schedule an activity. So I just mark this class. Let's say you have multiple groups here. Um, I only have one right now. So I mark this group. And then I click on Schedule an Activity for this group. That will open this activity window. And now I can choose what kind of activity I would like to use here. So I would like to send my students an email. Student, email student here. All right. This here is the subject that everybody will see on the faculty, staff, and administration site when they look into this. So I'm usually using my, my course code. Uh, which is a biology course on the very, very basic level. And uh, this is going to be the welcome email. The students will not see this title, the subject they will not see. They will only see the email subject. And that is going to be welcome oops, to general biology. And I did prepare uh, the text for this. I'm just going to copy paste that really quickly into here. This is my message. Uh, here it is. And that's it. I, I have usually a prepared message. I have all the dates fixed and the times, the, the um, place, maybe the books that are necessary and so forth. So my students will be ready with this. I can now say save and that is the equivalent of sending. So this message will now send via email to all the students in this group so that they know they will be in my class. I click on Save. There might be um, a small pop-up message that shows up. And in this case, uh, do you want to associate this activity with the current enrollment of the students in this group? Yes. So there we go. My students are now informed via email, but we know our students. It's only going to be their um, institutional email, not their private email that receives this message. Uh, I'm going to schedule another activity. So the first one was about the email. The second activity is the same button again. I mark my class and click on activity. And this time I'm going to select another option. I'm going to say, uh, where's a text communication right here? So now I can text my students via uh, text message. So again, the subject is not what the students will see. That's going to be mine. I'm just going to go here into the typical form that I use. Uh, you may have your own, own script for that. Uh, and this is now the text message. And the text message can only be 160 characters long. So I have to uh, behave myself here. Welcome to general biology. I just sent you an email. Please check your inbox. Looking forward to seeing you on uh, Tuesday, Dr. S. Uh, dear student, welcome to General Rally. Just sent you an email. Please check your inbox. Looking forward to seeing you on Tuesday. All right, that should be it. If I save this, all the students in the group will get this message. Yes, um, and that concludes today's video. So we sent a message, a tech, first an email message to all our students and then a text message to all our students. There are obviously more ways to message, and we will look into that during the next video, because some of the students don't show up to class 
And when that happens, we have to leave some comments and we will talk about how that works during the next video. If you have any questions about this video, please comment below. If you have general ideas for future videos, please comment below as well. I will reply to that as soon as I can. And also, please don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell. Thanks for watching.